Hello and welcome to another video that starts in my cupboard. Ooh, I'm Lisa. Hello. Nice to see you again. If you haven't been here before, I normally make travel videos and lifestyle videos. And today we are going to go through my wardrobe and throw out loads of stuff because there is so much in here that I have not worn in a long time. A lot of it is like pre-COVID stuff that maybe doesn't fit me anymore, maybe doesn't fit my new life anymore. We've been doing a lot more nice tops and leggings for working from home rather than going into work every single day of the week. So I just feel like this whole wardrobe needs a refresh and there's so many things that I've had probably for over five years that just need to go because I cling on to things because they have memories attached to them just as much as I like wearing them. So it's time to be ruthless time to get rid of stuff. I'm going to separate things into keeping, throwing out and donating to charity or potentially if anything's good enough selling it but we'll see how that goes. I'm not normally much of a uh, an online seller of clothes but maybe maybe this is the time to change. I guess it depends how big all these piles get. I think this might end up being some sort of series but I'm going to start with the dresses, the dress section of my wardrobe which is personally my favourite place to be so strap in and let's get trying on clothes Ta -da! this is a dress that I love I wore it to my friend's wedding earlier this year I originally bought it oh it has a little tie as well I originally bought it for general work type events and then Covid hit so I think I've only worn it twice once to the Ritz and once to a wedding so a lot more wear to get out of this one well this has become depressing quite quickly. Anyone remember this dress from the cruise? Well now it's got a massive stain on it. Don't know if you can see that. It's about there. Can you see? Yes. And um, I'm not quite the same size as I was when I wore this once so I'm just sort of... Basically I don't think this dress is getting any more traction out of it somehow. It's time to let it go. This dress, oh it is it about an Elsa dress as well isn't it? Let it go. <laughs> Ta -da. This is another one that I bought for our um, 2018 cruise. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. So at the bottom here it sort of has a tight bit and then it has like this floaty bit at the back which is quite fun but I just think it's quite a specific dress and I just don't feel like I'm ever gonna wear it again. Will I pull this out of my wardrobe? I don't feel great in it. I feel like it just doesn't quite work for me. I'm so pale as well, like it's probably not the right colour. So I think this is gonna go in the charity sale pile and I'll figure out later which of those it's gonna be because I think that's just too much for my brain to handle right now. <laughs> you might recognise this one. It is one of my absolute summer staples of the minute. I got it recently um, in Stitch Fix. It's one of my Stitch Fix video picks that came out and it is just such an easy dress to wear. It feels super comfy and you don't have to iron it really. I mean you probably could but I don't. Um, so it's just the perfect Lisa dress. So 100% staying in my wardrobe. This one is another of my all time favourite dresses. I just love that I can throw this on and feel so nice and happy. I normally wear it with a little black belt around there and it came from the mango sale last year and I feel like this will be in my wardrobe for a while more to come yet. I love it so much. The colours are so nice. Oh. I love this one. Another one that you may have seen before because it also was a new purchase this year that I got from Thread. No, it wasn't. It was my first Stitch Fix, so that's on the old YouTube channel as well. But oh, I love this jumpsuit so much. I wore it to our first trip to Duck and Waffle, which was really fun. And I feel like I need to get another wear or two out of it this, well I was going to say this summer, but summer's basically over, so it will definitely have to be coming with me on holiday. It has pockets, I mean, what more can a girl ask for really? Oh, I was getting ready to get rid of this dress and then Matt's just said he really likes the colour of it and now I'm torn again and now I'm looking at it in the camera and I'm like, maybe I should keep it. I wore this on my Disney cruise in 2017, so it's an old dress, but 
I do love it. I just feel like it's probably run its course in my wardrobe now. I feel like the length is kind of, it's not short, but it's not long. It's sort of knee length. Oh, see, and I've just bent over and the buttons popped. So, uh, is it time to go or not? I just don't know. This one is one, another that has been in my wardrobe for decades, practically. I've worn this on so many holidays. Definitely Florida trips this has come with me. I think it's from New Look about probably eight years ago or something. But I feel like it's probably got another holiday in it. So I might take it to Greece, give it a show off. I feel like it is a bit short compared to what I wear now. I'm not used to having my thighs out so much as I used to be getting on, you know. And also like fashions have changed. Like long dresses are more popular now than they used to. So I think I'll keep this for now. This one is now in an area of purgatory called the middle of the room where I'm going to leave it until I decide what to do with it and I don't feel like I know which way to go. I was ready to throw it away and now Matt says he likes it. Ah! This is another tricky one because I love this dress. I think it's a nice shape and it falls so nicely. I feel a little bit like Sandy from Greece in it or something like that but I think I need to accept that it is a bit bulgy here and no matter what underwear you wear underneath it, you can always see it, which is incredibly annoying and means that I don't ever really feel super confident in it. I'm not keeping it. Okay, don't say anything. We're now in the Christmas section of my wardrobe and this is my sparkly Christmas party dress and it just about fits. It's very stretchy, which is nice, but I feel like I have nothing else in my wardrobe that fits the Christmas party requirement quite like this one does so i might keep it in case there are any christmas parties coming up this year fingers crossed i mean last year was a complete write-off so we'll see what happens this year but i think i'll keep it okay i might i've lied slightly with the last one this one is also my sort of christmas party wintery dress it's red velvet it's very co it's like once it's on it's like super comfy as well and i love the little tie at the side and yeah this is gonna stay for any winter um film or theater premieres that i'm invited to i.e none but also christmasy things christmasy brunches christmasy meals christmas it's not that long away now this is another asos semi-formal dress that i got many years ago. I think I actually got it for my graduation ball from university, which is six years ago now. But I think it's probably time to call it a day. Um, I love the front of it, but I'm not so keen on the back because it's just, you can see through completely. And I've had a lot of lovely pictures in this dress and I think it's time to leave it at that. But it does pain me. This is one of those ones that I said about how I hate giving away dresses that mean something to me and ha I have really happy memories in and I had a great cruise in this dress I had a great graduation ball in this dress and probably a couple of other things so it's had its time I'm gonna miss it this one is a jumpsuit but I feel like you really can't tell it is actually a jumpsuit but it just looks like a very very short dress and I'm 20 how old am I now 27 <laughs> I don't know if I can pull off this sort of thing anymore and again it's one of those things that's not as in now as it was when I bought it. I remember wearing this to Disney Springs, might have even been when it was still called Downtown Disney, uh, when I worked at Disney in 2014 so I think it's time to let it go. Elsa would be so proud of me today I swear. <sighs> this is just like a trip down memory lane now because I have so many Happy memories in this dress. It's got a gorgeous pattern on it. It's got Tigger, it's got Pooh, Piglet, all of my favorite Hundred Acre Wood characters. I've worn this to Disney World, Disneyland Paris, Disney Cruise Line. I feel like it's done the rounds. It's slightly more snug than it used to be. And I also know that these have a really good resale value on eBay, so if anyone fancies this dress, uh, let me know. I think it's a size 12 UK and I will sell it to you <laughs> or I'll put it on eBay. I have so many great pictures in this dress and memories. 
but it's time to go. So I wore this dress for my graduation ceremony under my robes and everything. And yes, it did look a little bit short uh, on the pictures, but I think it's time to get rid of this one. Like it just doesn't really make me happy. I don't feel great in it. My tummy's like poking out a little. It's just, I don't think I would wear it again. So why is it? still in my wardrobe six years after I graduated. I feel like I've probably worn it maybe once or twice more, but not enough to make it worth carrying from house to house to house to house as I move like probably five, six times since then, oh dear. This is a good old Primark dress that has managed to cling onto my wardrobe for far too long. I liked it at the time and the fabric is actually so soft. I don't even know what it's made of, but it's just so, it's very nice to wear, very easy to just throw on. Um, and I also have another one that is basically the same, but a different pattern. So I'll show that to you now. But I think this one, when am I gonna wear it? Never, I don't think so. It's time to go. I'm on a roll right now, wow, nothing is staying. And this is the other one, which I do prefer this pattern, but again, will I ever wear it again? I just don't like things that cling on the old tum tum. So I think this will be going as well. Oh, this one is, I think it's a new look. It's just got all the classic hallmarks of a Lisa dress that was bought five plus years ago. High sort of, what do you call this neckline? Round neckline? It hits the same point in my thigh. Um, this one's yellow and I like it. Would I wear it again? I just don't know. I think I might have to put it on the maybe pile and come back to it. So everything on the maybe pile means that you can comment down below and tell me if I should keep it or not because I can't make these decisions on my own. It's too hard. This one is such a staple of my work wardrobe. It is great with black tights in winter and on warmer days I can wear it without tights. It's a very good like work from home one because it is getting quite tatty. Uh, because I like it so much I've worn it a lot, which means it's seen it's past its best, but I still think for working from home, especially in summer, it's a good dress. So I'm gonna keep it. This is another dress that I wear on the absolute hottest days of summer because it touches here and then it literally like does not touch any other part of my body so it's just perfect when it's so hot in the UK well I would wear it take it on holiday as well I think and you just want to be cool it is the perfect dress for that I definitely had a few outings this summer and I'll be keeping it for next summer too this one is probably another work from home summery dress it's I think I got it last summer from Primark. Um, it's a bit big, especially here, I think it's a bit big, but it's very nice and airy. The sleeves aren't the most comfortable. So while I probably wouldn't wear it out or like anywhere nice, it's another one that's handy for working from home in the summer. So for that reason, it gets to stay this time. You've escaped. You get to stay, what a lucky dress. So this one is another Primark buy from a couple of years ago. And I normally, this is the first time I've ever buttoned it up, but to right to the top, but I think it actually is not as bad as I thought it would be. Normally I wear it like this, a bit more casual. I think in the future it will be a tights only type one. So like a, a wintry one, but I think it still works. And I am obsessed with the color red, so. I think it will stay again. I do like this one. I've had this for years. I think it came from Tesco or somewhere like that. But I really like it. I haven't done it up properly at the back, but you get the gist. I wore it to see Frozen the other week when I was sort of Disney bounding as Elsa, which was fun. The only really blue thing that I have in my wardrobe. Although Matt did reveal at that point that he's not a huge fan of it and that did strike me to my core. But I think I'm gonna keep it because it's just so handy. You can throw it on over tights, over bare legs. It just, it's a very handy, like I have nothing to wear, wear this type of dress. Oh, I'm getting warm now, but we are getting towards the end. You'll be pleased to know. This one, my friend Beth actually gave me at uni. So I've had it for at least six, seven years. And I think she had it for a couple of years before that. So 
it's got a lot of wear out of it but this is another one that i think is good for work bung on some tights with it can wear it to work from home i don't know if i would take it into the office anymore because it is getting pretty worn out but if i needed sort of an emergency dress <laughs> for office just on a random day i might consider this so it's a stay in even though it's quite worn out but you can't really tell that it's super worn out from there right right i'm mini mouse <laughs> <laughs> I this dress is very fun I do like it I think I've worn it once on a Disney cruise on Halloween night when I was like Disney bounding as Minnie Mouse and actually yeah I think I've worn it twice to like be Halloween <laughs> Minnie Mouse and I don't think I've ever worn it otherwise because to me it just says Minnie Mouse but I think I need to get over that and wear it in real life too which might be a bit daunting but once it, once you've done it once it's got to be easier after that. <laughs> this dress is another that I used to wear all the time. It fits very nicely, I think. Slightly snug, but um, it's on. I think the length is a lot shorter than I would wear nowadays, but as a winter dress with some black tights, I think it would work. This is another sort of office dress that I wear on the very hottest days because it's got lots of nice lovely room for cool air to get up it's just one that i wear maybe a couple of times a year and it's just kind of here nor there but on those days where it's really warm and you have to go into the office this fits the bill this dress i got from the same place as my graduation dress which was vienna train station in vera moda such a random place to find two dresses that i really liked but i i just went for it and bought them both i think that this one I'm kind of done with it has these pockets which I normally love but it they're quite thick so they make my hips look even wider the length just isn't quite doing it for me anymore it probably was at one point in my life but not so much now I think it's gonna go like when am I gonna wear this again but then again I'm thinking like oh maybe like with some back tights in winter I'm feeling the urge to get rid of it which probably means I need to get rid of it this one I think is from Matalan I got it a couple of years ago I'm I've given up doing up the backs by the way I'm um, I'm knackered I got it for sort of work events I remember wearing it not that long before the pandemic to like some sort of work ball thing and it works quite nicely for that and I feel like it will still fill that role especially now work events are starting to come back which is actually quite exciting and the color is quite nice and not something that I have elsewhere in my wardrobe and also I love a puffy sleeve oh my god here we are we've made it the last one and this is my new jumpsuit it is from mango but i got it through stitch fix so it's, you might recognize it from that video and it's so much fun it's just so comfy the only thing is it's such a pain to go to the loo because you literally have to unbutton all these buttons which by the end of a long day is very very tiresome but i love this one and it's gonna stay <laughs> in my wardrobe summer staples for quite a while it's done me to two weddings this year already and i feel like i can squeeze it into a third as well <laughs> oh my god that was so tiring so much more tiring and time consuming than i thought i don't know why i thought it would be not that much work to try on all of these clothes but it really was i really thought i was going to get all the way through to the t-shirts and the shirts and everything today but no <sighs> the dresses have killed me so that might be a another video coming soon but the good thing is I have a pile of dresses on the floor that are no longer living in my wardrobe that have been taking up space for way way too long and then I have my maybe pile the red one and the yellow one or orange depending on your viewpoint and what it comes up like on screen shall I keep those two shall I get rid of them the fact that they're in my maybe pile makes me think I should get rid of them or maybe I should give them like another few months trial and see if I actually wear them or not and then if I don't then they're gone but we'll see thank you so much for watching this video and getting through with me to the end if you enjoyed this subscribe for all my future stuff i love doing things about clothes but also other lifestyle -y things vlogs around london and hopefully travel when that reopens but fingers crossed i should be traveling very soon we will see so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye